Mm. What I'm about to say oh, is gonna bring the world disaster. It's gonna turn your joy and laughter to tears and pain. Good morning, y'all. How are you? I'm still messing with this janky, janky, janky audio equipment I got. So if there's any Samaritans out there that want to donate some audio equipment, I am all for it. But I'm back on top of things today, and I'm so glad I get a chance to address this because it's been bothering me. And the worst thing in the world is for your equipment to go down when you really have something to say. Y'all just don't know. So good morning, good afternoon, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I've never been so insulted in my life. Let me just make it plain because I don't like to say they. I'm, I'm gonna, I like to call people out. Lord Jamar, I am so disappointed in you. Um, I think you are a fake conscious uh, pothead. Um, trust me. And I know what that looks like. Uh you, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I want to give you the excuse that you was smoking too good of a product to make your interview sound like it made any sense on Godfrey, or if you just really that silly and stupid. And people put you on as a black intellectual? I mean, the first insulting thing, no matter who you vote for, you say you want to vote for Trump, and that... That right there goes to show you as a black man how stupid y'all must be. You in particular. Because I can see you're not voting for anybody. I mean, uh, any candidate, a green candidate, or independent candidate. But to say you voting for Trump lets me further know how ignorant. And you the kind of uh, black people that, you know, 50 years ago... You, you know, they'd have found y'all somewhere stinking. Because what what you're doing is you're interfering with the development of people's babies and grandbabies and great grandbabies with your damn ignorance. You sit up there and said something so stupid. Uh, you call Kamala all her name. You supposed to be a five percenter, bro. And you called Kamala out her name so many times that it was disrespectful. There was no morality in it. There was no sign of anything up moral and upright about it. And then you turned around and said, no bitch can't tell you nothing. And what bitch led something? I think you need a further history lesson. Who was Cleopatra, brother? What about Queen and Zynga? Do you know the great queens of, <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm not going to have no history lesson with you. You the one that went out there on the limb. So I'm going to leave it up to you to fix it because you, you, you were very insulting and you were very stupid. And I, I've always thought that you had a little bit more intelligence than that. So I'm going to blame it on the ganja, and it must have been that chronic because the way you talk, was pure idiotic. It was pure idiotic. And I want you to know that, bro. And if you're going to go around with that flat earth shit, I mean, I ain't even, I mean, that right there, I'm not even messing with that. I'm talking about the disrespect you have for black women. Okay? And then turn around and say, your Puerto Rican family. And you uh this, and you don't want to humiliate, and you don't want to uh, 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 disrespect them. But you had Donald Trump out there throwing them towels, paper towels. He didn't even want to touch their asses when there was a hurricane. He showed you just how ruthless he was, let alone what he said about the stop and frisk for black men who already getting the 
hell shot down and brutalized. And y'all stupid enough to think this is a person that's going to look out for your best interest. I don't care what you think about Kamala Harris. Don't vote for her. But to vote for a fool like Donald Trump, the black race can't afford y'all no more. This, this, like I said, 40 years ago, you, you would have been dealt with. The brothers like Fred Hampton and the brothers like uh, Chief Rivera, the, the brothers that was moving and shaking, and they wouldn't have accepted what you said in terms of especially, especially there was no black women that were queens. And they, that, that yield, yielded or needed to be respected. And all through history, we've had women who were dominant, who ran armies. See, because you don't know that. Because you see everything through the perspective of a European. That's who you are, Lord, Lord Jamar. Dude. If the if the weed gonna make you talk that stupid, put it down. I'm gonna go, cause I'm going off topic. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share it to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.